Amigas y amigos de 89.7, en estos momentos nos encontramos, bueno, con un compositor, él es de Carolina del Sur, y es integrante de esta banda de la que hablaremos el día de hoy, que se llama Sunroom. Entonces, Max, how are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing fine. Uh, how do you met each other? I mean, in this band, can you tell us the story? Yeah, so uh, Luke, our singer, he wrote, um, well, about like the time of COVID, he got sent home from university. Um, he got sent back home and was living with his parents and okay. uh, just had a lot of time during quarantine. So he wrote a couple of songs, recorded them, and that was the Soul Del Sur EP. And it, it ended wow. up doing a lot better than, you know, than he expected. So then he needed to find a band and uh, he found the rest of us through his mutual friends at school, his roommates that he lived with. Okay. We were all friends. So just for, like by chance, his roommates had friends who played music too. And we all listened to the same stuff. So that worked out pretty perfect. That's an amazing story, bro. <laughs> yeah. And why Song Room? I mean, why why did you chose that name? So Luke and our our drummer Thomas, they were in a uh, they were in a band in high school that was called Guest House. Okay. Uh, they they used to practice in Luke's parents' little like garage with a it's got a bedroom. They call it the Guest House. Okay. So that okay. was a band in high school, and then when he wrote the the Soul Del Sur EP, he was trying to think of a name. And uh, he thought it would be funny to choose like another room that's in a house. And he okay. chose Sun Room because it, it kind of fits, you know, the, the surfy, the, it fits the vibe better. Than You're trying better. to give this vibe of uh, chaos and energy, and energy yeah, like exactly. in, in a garage, right? Yeah. Okay. And what about your, your, uh, your uh, having a new EP, right? Yeah. About, yeah. Uh, at least I tried, right? Yep. So can you tell us about that album? And I mean, how does it started? Yeah, so um, that EP was really fun to record. Um, our uh, One of our favorite bands growing up is called Fiddler. And okay. the singer, Zach Carper, he also does some producing. And uh, he ended up producing that EP for us, which was kind of a dream. And uh, I don't know if you know any Fiddler songs, but they're really fast, okay. really loud really cool though and uh it was like a good chance for us to uh to kind of like show the energy that we have during a live show and put it into a recording because i feel like a lot of our recordings are they're they're a lot more mellow than our live show i think our live show has like a lot more energy, energy. yeah it's got a lot more see. energy yeah okay exactly. and what about your song cut my hair cut my hair <laughs> how does it start i mean the name is super funny and i want to know more about it yeah, yeah so that's that one's always funny because we feel like at least one of us always needs a haircut <laughs> okay, yeah. okay i like you your look man i mean oh, okay. super cool. you, man. it's like with all the vibes of, of your project yeah i definitely need a haircut i think my mom's gonna cut my hair later today <laughs> Okay, okay, yeah, me too. I had uh, the hair really large. But, yeah. Uh, tell me, uh, you already played in Mexico City, right? Yeah. You were opening the act of Luis Tomilson. Yeah. How does it feel like? I mean, what do you think about the Mexican fans? That was crazy. We did three nights in Mexico City. Um, they were all sold out. I think the I think it was Pepsi Arena, maybe. I think that's where it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so cool. It was crazy. The fans in Mexico and like all of Latin America are like the most passionate, loudest, loudest fans. Like, yeah, it, yeah <laughs> it's, just, it's just crazy playing a show in Mexico City. And it was it was cool because we got to do three nights there, too. And wow. Mexico City was one of our favorite cities we got to go to. So, I mean, you are right now in a world tour in the United States and Canada. Are you planning yeah. to come to Mexico soon? Yeah, uh, we definitely want to come. Mexico City is is definitely in the future, I think. We definitely want to try to get down there and play a little headline show. So, Do you know some Spanish words? Uh, yeah, a little bit. I, okay, I, okay. 
Uh, I course? studied Spanish <laughs> in, in high school for four years. What words do you know? Uh, puedo hablar español, pero necesito practicar más. Órale, para que la gente de 89.7 vea que y aquí también se practica. What do you want to learn to say? I mean, if you could choose like a phrase, do you want to learn? What would you choose? I can show you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how to say rock and roll in Spanish. It's the same. It's rock and roll. I mean, it's uh, a genre. I mean, uh, do you like the party? Yeah. Do you like tequila? Yeah. Yeah. Me yeah. gusta tequila. Me gusta. Ah, you know, you know that. Bro. <laughs> do you know how to order a tequila if you come to Mexico City? Sí. Puedo tener una tequila, por favor. Ah, you... sabe más inglés de lo que sé. You know more, more Spanish than you. <laughs> you say that's amazing. <laughs> So uh, right now, guys, you're launching this EP. And what are you wor working at in these moments? You're like in the world tour. You are uh, planning to launch a new music video. Yeah. Um, so we just got home. We just finished our, our headline tour in the US and Canada. And uh, we're going to Australia to tour Australia in a couple of weeks. Wow. So that's pretty crazy. That's a dream. Um, and then we're just working on new music. So trying to get to the studio as much as we can. Have you ever been in Australia before? No, none of us have ever been, but it's it's like been top of our list for sure. So, okay. Mexico. Hey Max, you are an amazing guy. Uh, can you give us uh, the social media of Sunroom so that the new people can uh, follow you? Yeah, um, our social media on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok, uh, it's all at Sunroom Band. Sunroom band, are you good in TikTok videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We do some TikTok videos. <laughs> so we try. We try to. We make some that we think are funny, but I don't think they're that funny. Man, you look so funny. I mean, I saw the the music video of I, at least I tried. Yeah. And I mean, you were like covered. You were around a lot of people. You were like party in the party. So uh, that would yeah. be amazing. I mean, do you? That was fun. Enjoy that? Yeah, that was a fun. That was a fun day. Who's the funniest guy in your group? <laughs> funniest guy? Yeah. Um, Ashton, our guitar player, he's got some, he has good dad jokes, you know, like dad jokes. jokes. That a, oh, it's yeah. like me. Okay, okay. Yeah. <laughs> jokes that a dad would tell or okay. like an old guy. But um, Thomas, our drummer, he's a pretty funny guy too. He's a goofy. Oh, that's amazing. You Having your friends like playing with you. I'm yeah. living the, the dream that it's uh, the idea. So do yeah. you have a message for your Mexican fans? So they can know more about you. Like, hey. <laughs> Hi, uh, we're Sunroom. And we hope we get to Mexico soon. Play some shows. Should be sick. All right. All right, Max. Thank you very much for having this interview with us. Yeah. You're all guys invited. Uh, if you want to come to our, uh, to our radio station, if you come to Mexico City sometime, sometime you're super invited. And well, thank you very much for, for being with us. Thank you. Glad to be here. Perfecto, amigos. Pues él es Max, integrante de esta banda eh, de, Cal de, de California del Sur, Sunroom. Entonces, eh, pues bueno, nos estamos viendo. Estás en hoy 89.7, todo el pop, todo el tiempo.